Hi, hey, fourth graders, Ms. Fortner here with your Lesson 8 Problem Set Directions Walkthrough. When you complete your Lesson 8 Problem Set after watching the concept development video, your must-do problems are 1A, 1D, 1F, and 1G. So you will be doing two addition problems and two subtraction problems. This problem set should also look very similar to the Lesson 6 and Lesson 7 problem set as well. This time we are working with pounds and ounces. To give you an example of what your problem set may look like, I'm going to be looking at the Lesson 8 homework, 1A, 1D, 1F, and 1G, to give you some examples of what your problem set may look like when you complete it. Make sure that when you're completing these problems, you have your unit conversion tables handy, and you know what your conversion from pounds to ounces is. Our first problem here, for an example, is 11 ounces plus 5 ounces. Those are both in ounces, so I can add them. But it wants my answer in pounds. Remember that LB means pounds. So we want to write our final answer in pounds. 11 ounces plus five ounces will give me 16 ounces, but it doesn't want how many ounces that is. It wants to know how many pounds that is. How many ounces does it take to make a pound? That's right, it takes 16 ounces to make a pound. So if we have 16 ounces, that is equivalent to one pound. 1D is a subtraction problem. So let's take a look at that. We have 12 pounds minus eight ounces. Now right now we can't do 12 minus eight because one of those is in pounds and one of those is in ounces. And we can only subtract similar units. We can do pounds minus pounds and ounces minus ounces, but we can't do pounds minus ounces, which means that we are going to have to unbundle. So if we have 12 pounds here, we can unbundle that for 11 pounds. And then if we have one more pound, that one pound is 16 ounces. And remember that OZ means ounces. So instead of saying I have 12 pounds, I can say I have 11 pounds and 16 ounces. And now I can subtract. 11 pounds minus zero pounds over here on the side is 11 pounds, and then 16 ounces minus eight ounces is eight ounces. So I have 11 pounds and eight ounces. Problem F is another addition problem. 21 pounds, eight ounces, plus six pounds, nine ounces. So I can add pounds to pounds and ounces to ounces, but I'm not going to write my final answer in yet in case I have to regroup. So if I had 21 pounds plus six pounds, that gives me 27 pounds. And then if I add eight ounces plus nine ounces, that gives me 17 ounces. Do I have enough ounces that I could bundle and make another pound? Yes, I do, because it takes 16 ounces to make a pound. So with my 17 ounces here, I can decompose that with a number bond as 16 ounces, which will give me another pound and one ounce. So I can regroup this one pound in with the pounds that I already have. I had 27 pounds, but I was able to bundle and make another pound. So now I have 28 pounds and I have one ounce remaining. Then if we look at G, we have another subtraction problem. I have 23 pounds and one ounce minus 15 ounces. I can't do that right now because I have one ounce and I want to take away 15 ounces. I don't have enough to do that yet. So I'm going to have to unbundle. My 23 pounds, I can decompose that as 22 pounds and one pound. And then this one pound, I can unbundle for 16 ounces. So instead of saying I have 23 pounds, I can say I have 22 pounds and 16 ounces because that one pound, I can unbundle for 16 ounces. So this 23 is going to be 22 pounds. And then I had one pound unbundled for 16 ounces, but I already have one ounce. So now I have 17 ounces. So I have 22 pounds and 17 ounces because 23 pounds, I unbundled for 22 pounds and 16 ounces, but I already had one ounce. So that's 22 pounds, 17 ounces. And now I can subtract. 22 pounds minus zero pounds is 22 pounds, and 17 ounces minus 15 ounces is two ounces. So my answer is 22 pounds and two ounces. So when you complete your lesson eight problem set, 
you are going to be completing 1A, 1D, 1F, and 1G. Remember that when you add, regroup if you are able to. If you have 16 ounces, regroup those for a pound. And when you subtract, make sure that you have enough ounces to subtract from. Sometimes you need to unbundle a pound for 16 more ounces, but don't forget to re-add those back into the ounces that you already have. So for example, here on G, I unbundled a pound for 16 ounces, but I already had one ounce, so then it was 17 ounces. And then I was able to take my 15 ounces away. Please let us know if you have any questions, and we are looking forward to seeing your Lesson 8 problem sets.